Hi guys, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the T1 Ranger and its beautiful burning motors. Um, everywhere where you go online, on all the RC forums and stuff, you can see that the motors on the T1 are actually uh, burning quite a bit, especially if you use them on 4S. Um, this is because probably they're not designed for 4S, neither the motor nor the ESC. And although they can perform on 4S, they're not really designed for it. So today I'll be showing you how you can automatically detect whether it's a 3S or 4S battery using your radio and always prevent your motors from burning. If we have a look, I've actually swapped these um, back to the original He-Wing motors, but I think that these ones are the ones that are used on the VTOL version. So they are the 1406 uh, 3150 KV. So a slightly lower KV than the ones that you get in your uh, original kit, but they really work well. Uh, there's a bit more torque and they can spin four inch props, which makes the plane a bit more efficient. Now, as you can see, I've done a little bit of grass cutting with this one, and um, yeah, we won't go into that. But let's have a look at the T1. So the wings are off, as you can tell. I've had a terrible crash recently because one of the ESCs broke, and with differential thrust and me kicking it into return to home, it just resulted in a spiral stall. So that wasn't great, but I can show you a way of basically dealing with this in a slightly nicer uh, nicer manner so that you don't have to worry about 4S voltages on your motors um, and it's all done automatically in your radio. So uh, let's just put that aside for a second. I'll turn on the radio. By the way, this is the battery that I'm flying with. It's a 21700 uh, lithium ion pack, 4000 milliamp written but actually it's more like 3000 usable at the discharge current that this is being used. So uh, keep that in mind. With lithium ions, if you buy a 3000, you're more likely to read 2000 and that is on a calibrated um, current scale. So not just whatever stock current scale or some random current scale, it's you know uh, calibrated using uh, a current meter independently. So let's have a quick look at our radio here. I'm going to probably have to change the cameras. There we go. So the trick is to have a logic condition which reads the voltage from the telemetry sensors. I'm using Express LRS, so that's definitely uh, something that I have. If you're using any other protocol which doesn't support telemetry, then you know you won't be able to do this, but I'm judging that you know most people will have either Crossfire or uh, Express LRS, or you know R9M running Crossfire, something like that. So if we go into our uh, model settings, and I do apologize for the blurry screen, but I am using a GoPro to stream this and record this, so it's not great. But anyway, let's go into the logical switches. And I've got logic condition 10 set up as A greater than X, if I edit this, you can see it's A greater than X. And this logic condition is true whenever the RX battery is greater than 12.6. Now the thing about lithium ions is that they can actually be discharged to, um, I think, even 2.8 volts. I've never gone down that far, but they can be discharged to a low voltage. And this is quite useful so what, what's going to happen is this logic condition is true when A, which is the parameter RX battery, when A is greater than 12.6, okay? So then if we go into our inputs, and I deal with inputs, mixes, and outputs in a way that maybe not all people do, because some people do all their programming within... The mixes, I like to have it done in inputs, mixes and outputs, but you can have it in mixes if you wanted to. And as you can see, what I have here 
is two throttle options. It's only 100% throttle available when I've got a 3S battery hooked up. So anything that results in a voltage that is 3S or equivalent, which by the way, the uh, 4S battery can be. So it, when, you, when you discharge it, it can discharge down to a voltage of 3S, in which case you might need 100%. But in all other cases, it should be limited to 75%. And the way that you do this is you essentially, now the graph doesn't change because I don't have the battery plugged in, but you put the weight to 75 and the offset to minus 25. And if I plug the battery in now, you'll see that a 4S will be detected and the throttle will reduce down to the 75% option. Takes a while to connect, but there we go. Immediately, logic condition 10 has been chosen because now logic condition 10 is true. So therefore, my, tr my throttle is actually limited to 75%. Um, the way that you do the second condition of when to disable it is you need to have that exclamation mark L10, which means not L10. So in every other situation, when this is not L10, it will operate on 100% uh, throttle, which means that you can run 100% throttle, right? So it's not limiting you. And then as soon as I disconnect the battery, you'll see that this will drop down as well as the alarm that said telemetry lost. Now let me just grab a 3S battery. This pack here, although it says 4S, it's actually a 3S battery because one of the cells has uh, blown up and has been damaged actually. And I've just converted this for a glider um, to a 3S. So this is actually a 3S. And you'll see when I plug in this battery, You see for a second there, it switched to 75% because it was just reading the battery voltage and then it switched to 100 because it realized that actually this is a uh, 3S battery. And the limit for that 3S battery is essentially, oh, wrong screen, 12.6 volts because when you're using a 3S LiPo, you'll be having 12.6 or uh, less for a 3S or 12.6 or greater for a uh, 4S battery, for example. Now, if you're using high voltage batteries uh, or if you overcharge your lithium ions, then in that case, it's slightly different. You will have to change this value from 12.6 to whatever equivalent is, whatever you charge your batteries to. So if you charge them to 4.35, then it'll be 4.35 times three in order to get your maximum voltage for this logic condition to be true or false, depending on what you want to do. But essentially this is it. And uh, if we have a look at the sensors, you can see, well, we've got the voltage, 10.9 volts, right? So that is below, so hence why this logic condition is false. I'm gonna unplug this. The values are gonna be gone for a second. As soon as I un in plug in the forest battery, it'll take a time, just a moment. Now we have 14.8, which by all means is greater. Therefore, the logic condition is true. And therefore, in the mixes, 75% has been selected. So that's it. This is how you prevent your T1 from burning up uh, in midair, crashing, etc., uh, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.